Thank you. Um, next, we would like to hear from uh, the comrades from Bahrain. <laughs> I'm so I'm too short. <laughs> well, I'm I'm from Bahrain. My name is Zainab. Bahrain is the Portuguese Revolution or the Portuguese story. Um, actually, it's called the Flowers Revolution. Uh, Bahrain is a tiny island in the Gulf State. It's surrounded by the Saudi Arabia and Qatar and Kuwait, and we have the American Fifth Fleet. So that's why we cannot get freedom because of our location. Sorry for that, but every time I talk about Bahrain, I have to give a background because it's neglected by media. It's ignored by media. That's why I find myself like um, giving just a background about it. Well, while I'm speaking now, people of Bahrain are protesting, demanding democracy, freedom, dignity, and human rights. In return, they have been met by life and munitions tear gas, poisoned tear gas, and rubber bullets. Um, more than 80 people have been killed. Uh, thousands of people have been arrested. And thousands as well, or hundreds, have been injured. And the injured people have been arrested from their beds in the hospitals. Victors arrested, teachers, students, bloggers, journalists, everyone who has been participated in this uprising arrested. Just now, um, a human rights activist in jail has been on a hunger strike since 85 days. And he faced death. He is now facing death. And he's uh, an organ failure. So maybe today, tomorrow, tomorrow after he will be announced dead. That's why um, we are signing like petition to release him. So I really demand you to, to sign this petition just to free this man. Um, so I'm getting emotional, but he has, been, he has been a human rights defender and activist since maybe 20 years. He spent his life in exile, and when he returned to Bahrain, he, have, he has been arrested. His daughter has been arrested, and his situation is so difficult, so please support us. While the international community is calling, um, is calling Bashar al-Assad to step down and is calling for international intervention, we have seen nothing but silence in Bahrain. Why is that? Because we have the American 50 fleet, because of their, because of their economic interest, because we are surrounded by a brutal Saudi Arabia who doesn't want democracy in Bahrain because they don't want uh, the, the democracy to, or they don't want their people to be affected by democracy in Bahrain. So we have nothing. No states, no countries support us. No media support us. We have just socialists, activists, human rights campaigners. Other than that, we have nothing. So please support us. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it has to be said that the kind of support that socialists can give is more the kind of support that you would want than this kind of support of American bombers, which is basically what they're promising in Syria. So uh, I think we should also acknowledge that this morning there was more news of uh, repression of the Syrian revolutionary movement and also I think acknowledge that we stand absolutely and unabashedly on the side of the people who are mapping day in, day out in the cities like Homs uh, against their own government. So that's important to say. I'm going to ask one of the comrades from the Philippines to come and say something, uh, but also to say that before we began tonight, we went around and actually collected money for the strike fund, uh, which is currently in its sixth month, and we would like to acknowledge the bravery and determination of the Filipino airline workers who are the representatives. And 
Uh, we raised over a thousand dollars. I'm speechless. I'm very for the Australian people, for all of you who have uh, supported us throughout. I know last December I was here with, uh, I was also in front in your activity with the Socialist Alternative. <clears throat> it was only the third month of our struggle. We were locked out. Now we are in the sixth month of our struggle. But we know, even though in our sixth month, with the unity of the workers and our strong conviction that we will win this struggle, we will remain. That is our source of strength. I was very glad to hear of this monetary support because one of the source of our strength is our picket line. If our picket line will be busted, definitely we will be, we will be done. But because of our firm belief that in this struggle of the Philippine Airlines workers, we will win this struggle. I know not only in the Philippines, but you, whatever happens in this struggle of labor movement in the Philippines, I will definitely say you are part of this history. We are making history in the labor movement in the Philippines. in the Philippines is so simple <laughs> like what you said can I, I, I will say it again yeah. <laughs> ang laban ng paleya ay laban ng lahat ang laban ng lahat ay laban ng paleya I will say it in English <laughs> the fight of paleya is the fight of all and the fight of all is the fight of paleya yeah. <laughs> 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 